Okay, this is a tutorial on the different types of stopcocks that are used in the laboratories. First off, we'll cover the different orientations. This is a straight stopcock. Another style is a oblique bore stopcock. Then you have a double oblique bore stopcock, and you can see where the bore goes at an angle which makes it oblique. Uh, there are also three-way or T-bore stopcocks. There are different parts of the stopcock. First you have the barrel, then you have the arms or the stems of the stopcock, and you have the plug. For glass stopcocks, you have a retaining clip or sometimes a rubber washer. For Teflon stopcocks, <clears throat> with a, a washer, an O-ring, and a plastic nut. And just to note that when you put that plug in the stopcock barrel, first goes the washer, then the O-ring, then the retaining nut, in that order. The two main types of stopcocks are Teflon and glass. That refers to the material that the plug is made from. The plugs are not interchangeable between the two because of the taper of the plug as it meets with the, the barrel. Teflon is a one to five taper. And you may see that written on apparatus with a S with a P over top. Uh, glass stopcocks are a standard taper. And that's a one to 10 taper. The symbol for that would be an S with a T over top. This will cover how to identify the, the different, if you have a, a stopcock that is glass or Teflon. <clears throat> Many times that you have the plug separated from the barrel, you can't tell. One thing you'll notice is a Teflon stopcock has a clear grind in the inside barrel, <clears throat> whereas the glass has a, uh, it's not clear, it's a little bit rough, slightly rough a cloudy appearance inside the barrel. <clears throat> this is a general way you can tell the difference, but it's not 100% of the time, especially with older apparatus. How you tell the difference between the two is the taper, since the taper is different between the two. Teflon has a one to five taper. Glass has a one to 10 taper. If you didn't have the plugs, and you weren't sure because of the finish and grind of it, you can measure these and make some calculations. Measure the largest diameter of the opening, the smallest diameter of the opening, and then measure the length of the barrel, subtracting the smaller diameter from the large diameter, and then dividing by the length will give you the approximate uh, taper of the, the barrel. And in that way, you can determine which plug you need to buy to replace it or whatever you need to do. Another designation of the stopcocks is the bore size. This is a two millimeter Teflon stopcock. The two millimeter refers to the hole through the bore of the plug. That's a two. And then you'll show you the next size. That's four millimeters. You have the next size up six. There are larger sizes, but that's the most common. And it's the same for the glass stopcocks. That's a two, four, and a six millimeter. One of the differences between the glass and the Teflon stopcock is that the glass stopcocks 
since it is glass to glass contact between the barrel and the plug, you re does require some grease. Whereas a Teflon stopcock does not require any grease because it's not glass to glass contact, it's a Teflon plug inside a glass barrel.